Hey guys, it's Ebony, one-fifth of Team Two Moms, back with another but very important video. Oftentimes, Denise and I like to use our platform for um, LGBTQ plus topics, um, entertainment, our life, but we also want to use it for an educational moment as well, which we've done before on several other videos. In this video, I want to have a very serious but important conversation with my daughter Olivia about stranger danger. First to see how much she knows, what more do I need to tell her, and then show her a video of, of that went viral a couple years ago. Um, I'll have the link down below where this guy named Joey, he has several videos that I think are brilliant and so needed of child abductions experiments as, as social experiments and in those videos he talks to the parents and the parents all assume that their kids will never go with the stranger they would never ever ever go with the stranger and all it took was simple things for a nice car uh, a puppy to lure kids away with a stranger and so i want olivia to have a visual of these things and to know these things and to know what to do in these type of situations so we're going to go through that all together Please, down below, give me any advice, especially after you've watched this video on some more things that I should teach Olivia. And if you think she is too young to know this, then I'm so sorry to say this, but then I think you may be a little naive because kids know a lot. And these things happen to kids of all ages. Stranger danger does not discriminate. So you should be talking to your kids from a very, 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 very early age about the importance of not talking or going with a stranger. Now to the video. All right guys, so as you see, we have me, the great Olivia. Yay, we have brought Olivia on set <laughs> to talk to Olivia about an important topic. Olivia does know what this video is about. However, I have not heard her responses yet. So Olivia, the first thing I want to ask you is what is a stranger? A stranger is like someone that's bad. Mm. Not necessarily bad. Mm. Somebody you don't trust. No. 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 It's somebody you don't know. A lot of people become strangers. Your friends are strangers at first. Yeah. When you walk into the class that first day of school, you didn't know none of them, right? Except for the ones from the other that I knew from kindergarten. Well, let's talk about the first day you entered school. Oh, you didn't mostly. know any of the kids there, right? So most of them were strangers, but were they bad? No, they were just kids. They were just kids. It just means strangers means it's someone you don't no. know. However, because you don't know a stranger, we don't know if they are bad or good. Mm. When I say to you the term stranger danger, what does that mean? It means a stranger and they could be dangerous. Oh, I exactly. Oh, high five. We are doing something right. All right, so now, if a stranger approaches you, what would you do? Run back to your parent or whoever's taking care of you. Run back to your parents. Very, 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 very good. What else would you do? Yell. Very, very good. Now, who taught you all these things? You did! I did, didn't I? And do they teach you this in school? Well, yes. They do, right? They do talk to you guys about it in school as well, about stranger danger. So, what if a stranger came to you and said, Excuse me, little girl, can you show me which direction is... The yeah. ice cream store. Yeah. If they come to you with a puppy and said, my puppy is hurt, can you help me? What yeah. Would you do? Yeah. Very, very good. So now what I want to do is show you a social experiment that somebody else did where this guy went up to different parents. And you know what? He asked the parents, do you think your child, me, a stranger, would come to me? And all the parents said no, because I teach my kids not to talk to strangers and not to go with strangers. And we're going to see what happens, okay? 
I want you to watch it and I want you to react as you are watching it. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, you ready? ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. What's up guys, Joey Salads here. And what would your child do if someone pulled up with a nice car and tried to abduct them? I reached out to a few parents and we're gonna try just that. But I'm gonna be using my Bumblebee car. Let's see how these children you know what react. Bumblebee is? Yeah. All right guys, I'm on my way to this house. There's uh, yep. three kids. I got my camera guys there set up. Got a camera on the mom, the camera on the kids. So let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. You like the car? You guys want to come for a ride in the car? Oh my! It's the car from the Transformers. Goodness. Come on, get in, let's go. Wanna sit in the front? No, no. You're not allowed to sit in the front? No, no. no. oh my god! <laughs> where's where's mom and dad? Did they say you were allowed to do this? Mom and dad didn't say you could do this? Why'd you get in the car? Should I, you want me to bring you back? Yeah. What if I wasn't gonna bring you back? All right. What are you doing? Why'd you get in that car, Brandon? Why did you get in that car? Why did you get in that car? Look at him. Do you know him? Good. The last part. Now you see, this is something that actually does happen. And that's why it's extremely important. And I'm sure this mom right here got so startled and scared that her kids would get into the car. So again, I want to emphasize to you, if a stranger pulls up in a car, if a stranger pulls up in a bus, if the stranger seems hurt, if the stranger is a woman, doesn't matter if they're a woman, if they're a man, doesn't matter if they're young or if they're old. If you don't know them, you don't, you don't do anything with them. You don't get in the car, you don't do anything. You get to a, your, me or mama or whoever's watching you, grandma, you get to them right away. And the reason why I'm making this video for you guys is because I think this is something that you should also do with your kids. Sit down and talk with them, show them videos, show them examples of, of these social experiments that are literally out there to help us, to help us educate our kids so that they are not the actual victims and they are not the actual example of what not to do. So definitely guys, take that time with your kids. We're gonna sit down together when um, the boys get older and talk to the boys about stranger danger, right? Uh -huh. Now, I know that this can be scary and it can be scary to talk to your kids and you don't wanna ever scare your kids and I don't wanna scare you at all. I just want you to be 100% aware. Okay, puppy. And you have thus far have made me and mama so proud. Okay? <laughs> All right. Good kitty. Yep, she's doing good now, guys. And I'm so proud of you. So freaking proud of you. Give me a high five again. I'm clapping. <laughs> high five. I'm clapping in my pockets. She's clapping in her pockets. Make sure you are following us on all of our social media at Team Two Moms on Twitter. It's Olivia has two moms. Oh. Um, and give this video a thumbs up. What are some other crucial conversations that you are having with your kids or have had with your kids that were very difficult but needed? Please comment down below. All right, you guys. It is Team Two Moms. Yep, say it up. Team Two Moms. One, two, three. Peace. <laughs> I don't have nothing to throw at you. <laughs> No, no, no.